Welcome back here to Mountain Connections. I'm very excited to be joined by two gentlemen from Nexus ITC here to talk about securing both your business and your work computers. You know, the, the great thing about having a computer is that all of your data can be centralized, but one of the bad things about it is you can lose all of that data pretty easily as well. So here to talk about that is Earl Foote, the CEO of Nexus ITC, and we have Mr. Travis Gunn here as well. How are you two doing today? Great, fantastic, Diego. Always a pleasure to see both of you guys. So let's talk about this. Uh, securing both your personal and business computers what's the, what's the biz, what's the best way to do it that, that's a really complex question <laughs> and, and, yeah. and it's a really complex answer right and I don't want to I don't want to get too far in the weeds um, you know one of the best things that you can you can possibly do to secure your data is to educate yourself about okay. the threats that are out there and how to avoid them right um, particularly in a business there you know there's really great um, like online education modules that you can have your team members go through that are really affordable, like 25, 30 bucks a year, um, and will really teach people about uh, what the cybersecurity landscape looks like out there, what cyber threats look like, and how to spot them and not fall prey. Because in today's world, like 95 to 98% of all breaches, um, you know, they involve a user clicking on something or doing something that they should gonna not do. I was going to say, it's, it's like nine times out of ten, it's like phishing, right, is, is yep. what happens. Yep. And the people, uh, a lot of the time it's from what looks like a trusted source, someone that you've been emailing, uh, maybe a company that you've been emailing and yep. exchanging correspondence with regularly, uh, could come up and, and a very simple click of a link can can kind of ruin everything. It can it can ruin everything, literally, and, and really cause you some massive havoc. Um, within your organization or you know, uh, with your own personal life if, if you're talking about your personal computer. And one of the things to take into consideration with this is people oftentimes assume, you know, if, if I have some sort of a cloud backup type service that okay. I'm using, that it just automatically backs up the computer, right? And they're still saving files to, we're all the king of it, saving, I'm just gonna save it to my desktop, yeah. right? <laughs> because it's easy and I can see it, right? But unless you set your cloud backup service to back up your desktop, yeah. Then it's not backing that up, right? We, okay. had, we had a great client who yesterday, um, he's, he called me and said, hey, I'm leaving. I'm going to Europe for two and a half weeks, but I'm going to be working. And I want to make sure that, you know, in the event that I go and, you know, heaven forbid I lose my laptop or my luggage gets lost or what have you, I want to make sure that, number one, my data is safe. Uh, is my backup, are my backups still going to happen when I'm gone? Okay. One. And number two, um, what if I lose it? Right? Yeah. How do I make sure that my machine is secure or locked? And that could be your personal or your work computer, right? And so we just we, we checked to make sure he was good and gave him some advice, and he feels great traveling. And it's still inexpensive, right? The goal mm -hmm. is just have a plan, make sure that it's done right, and then you're off to the races. And you're off yeah. to the races yeah. there. And, and educate yourself about the, the risks <coughs> as well. I know, as we said, phishing is, is the most common. What are some of the other uh, ways that people uh, have intrusion on, on their personal, on the personal level, I guess you could say, rather than a business level? I think when people think of cybersecurity, they think of some crazy <coughs> complex CIA cyber, <laughs> you know, espionage operation, right. but it's so much more simple than that. And people actually getting into your personal security and personal information is, is, can be much easier than, than anything like that. Yeah, and I, really, I think uh, for most um, most people's personal computers that are compromised at this point, um, generally it's going to involve some type of malware. Okay. Um, more often than not, a ransomware, um, and usually it's because they've clicked on something, they've opened an attachment in an email that is nefarious, that you know looked like a trusted source, uh, as you had mentioned. Maybe it's a website. Maybe mm -hmm. it's a website that they go to all the time, and it's you know it's a trusted website, but. Um, hackers now do malvertising. They put up, you know, these uh, these advertisements that look absolutely legit, but when you click on them, they wow. will infect your computer. And so, um, uh, you know, oftentimes, or more often than not, it's because they have, you know, they clicked on something that they shouldn't click on. That infects the computer um, with a malware or a ransomware. Um, a ransomware will demand money to get the data back. It encrypts the data and then demands money to get the data back. But at the same time, um, Hackers oftentimes will uh, deliver a payload that gives them access to all of your information for a time period before they even 
let you know that they're wow. there, right? And so they might install a key logger that, um, that would log all of your keystrokes. And so when you go to your bank website and your credit card and, and you put in your usernames and your passwords and all that, now- It's recording all that information. Yeah, it's, it's, it's giving all that information to the hacker and wow. now they have all that information. Sometimes they're resident on your system for months at a time before they <laughs> finally you know, deliver the, the ransomware payload and let you know I'm here and now I want you to pay me now that I've you know, taken all of this you know, important sensitive private information. Um, uh, you know, and we didn't really talk about it, but certainly having a good, robust, uh, legitimate anti-malware or antivirus is going to be very important okay. besides your own education. And you need what's now referred to as next generation antivirus or next generation anti-malware. And anti what, is, what, what, it, what entails Yeah, it? so next generation uh, anti-malware is intelligent. It uses AI, okay. it uses behavior analysis rather than just um, simple definitions. It understands what malicious activity looks like, I see. and then it blocks it. And sometimes it can reverse it if it's you know trying to um, encrypt your system with ransomware. If you have a more sophisticated next generation anti malware, well, old antivirus systems they used to have these programs that it would be the, the virus is released, the antivirus companies write a code to stop it. Yep. Now these intelligent learning it just basically sits on your computer and goes, we know what these programs do. Okay, that program's acting a little bit. Weird. Bizarre. Okay. Let's grab it for a minute and just make sure that it's not huh. doing anything malicious. And so as a result, it's, it'll stop it. It has a chance of catching it before, which, <laughs> is, which is a great yep. thing. And mm. I just got to say, you have a great way of terrifying me, sir. <laughs> 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 I, I didn't realize that they a malware could be active for, for months at a time before yeah. you even realize that it's there. So we talked about ways that you can kind of prevent it. What happens when you're in that moment, you've, you've discovered that there is ransomware, uh, you discovered that there is malware, what, what do you do? I think the first step is to panic <laughs> and, and probably <laughs> want to pay because you want to get your data back, but sure. there are ways that you can, th there are steps you can take. Yeah, and Travis alluded earlier to the importance of backups and, and you know, really a good backup can save you a whole lot of heartache and headache. and. Um, Many people think that the backups are a set it and forget it type of thing. Can't tell you how many times, you know, we're, we're a 20 year old company. I can't tell you how many times over 20 years we've walked into situations where somebody set up some backups two years ago and decided we're, we're good to go, we're all yep. backed up, right? And they get a ransomware and we take a look and we say, guys, we're really sorry, but your backups haven't worked for a year, right? Wow. And so they become essentially useless. So it's important to always validate your backups, make sure that they're working. Um, but, um, uh, you know, to, to your question, uh, you know, the, the first thing that you need to do if you get a malware that, you know, that, that's on your computer is shut your computer down, right? Um, if you are comfortable with beginning, you know, some analysis and disinfection process, then, then go for it. If not, get a professional involved uh, to help you, particularly if you're a business and it's your business data. Yes. Um, and now in today's world, you know, we have government compliance regulations, and if you've had client data that's been breached or your, your team member's data, HR data that's been breached, um, you have an obligation to be a good steward of that data and to disclose that information to the people who are involved. Um, and you know you have to be extremely careful about the process. So most certainly if you're a business, get a professional involved as professional. soon as you can. And speaking about professionals, how can people get a hold of Nexus ITC and, and your guys' expertise? Yeah, uh, locally here in Park City at 435-487-9099 or nexusitc.net. Excellent. Er, uh, Earl and Travis, thank you very much. As always, you. really appreciate your advice. And again, you scared me a little bit. I'm going to go mm. home and back up my computer uh, right away for sure. That's, that's for sure. Be sure and check them out at nexusitc.net. And definitely, definitely back up your computer after today's talk. You're going to want to do so. We'll be right back with much more right after this short break.